Hi everyone! Welcome to Art Sonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mrs. Costell, an art teacher from Illinois. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Art Sonia gallery. Hi art fans, I'm Mrs. Costell. I teach at Holy Trinity School in Westmont and Elm School in Burr Ridge, Illinois. And I also run the blog, No Corner Suns. Today, we are going to be making some planet pictures and we are going to be mixing tints and shades to make things look three-dimensional. Well, let's go. For this project, you will need a pencil and eraser, one or two pieces of paper, a bunch of circles you can trace in various sizes. Rolls of tape, lids, cups, jars, caps, anything circle. Oil pastels, make sure you have white and black. A paper towel, scissors, glue, and a piece of black construction paper to finish off the piece. If you do not have black construction paper at home, you can also color your background with crayons, markers, or watercolor paint. With pencil, trace a bunch of circles all over your white paper. It does not matter how close they are or their sizes since they will be cut out eventually. One of these circles will become your sun and hence your light source when you begin shading. I chose this nice corner circle to be my sun. I'm going to color it yellow for now. You can always add more plasma and rays coming from it later. For all my other circles, I am going to use the body of my oil pastel to lightly color them. I am cleaning off the edge of the pastel first because sometimes they have other colors messed up on them or kind of gunked up. If your pastels are nice and new and you don't want to peel off the labels or break them to use their edges, I totally get that. At school, we only have the privilege of working with brand spanking new supplies for like one week of the year. If you use the tip and just color regularly, this will work too. Notice how I'm getting a nice layer of color on there, but leaving some white paper showing through, you don't have to press down too hard. You can color all of your circles this way. Don't make a white or black planet though, since we will be using those colors to mix our tints and shape. You can use the same color more than once, but for right now, only use one color per planet. Trust me, when we start mixing our shadows, the blue and brown of Earth will just look like the mud planet. Hopefully you are not panicking right now about not having all eight planets. And you don't have to worry about making your planets the correct size proportionally to one another or the correct color in our solar system. This work of art is just like a fantasy representation of space, man. But outer space is pretty cool and art class is the meeting place for all subjects, including science. So it behooves me to mention that I learned the order of the nine planets cause Pluto was a full size planet when I was a kid with this simple acronym. My very eager mother just served us nine pizzas, which is actually like having to learn two things to just remember one thing, but sometimes it works. This Wikipedia illustration is also a pretty nice resource to use if you want your work of art to have a realistic touch as far as proportions and colors. This is also a good chance for me to mention all the opportunities artists have. Just think, you could one day be a digital illustrator for NASA. And because of this lesson, you will learn how to put the shadow on the correct edge of the planet. You do not have to worry too much about accidentally going outside of the lines, since you'll be cutting them out anyway. It is time to turn those two-dimensional circles into three-dimensional spheres. I am looking carefully at where my sunlight is. The sides of my spheres that are closest to the sun are going to be the lightest. I am going to make a tint to show the lightest part of my sphere. A tint is where you add white to a color to make it lighter. I clean off my white and start to draw an oval or U shape real close to my sun. See how it is mixing and smoothing out the color? Making sure my finger is clean, I am going to continue that U shape and blend at that color until I get almost towards the bottom 
of my circle. Carefully now, I figure out where the exact opposite of the sun is. This is where my shadow will be. Here, I will make a shade. A shade is when a color mixes with black. I draw just a single fat line of black and continue mixing it with the color in that U motion. Keep doing this with every single circle. Turn them all into spheres. Sometimes, as I am looking at the circle, I can see parts that either need more shade or more tint, and I can keep adding and blending so it starts to look more like a sphere. Each time I blend, I keep my fingers moving in a U, and I make sure they are clean. Once all your circles are spheres, you can add things like rings, land masses, or plasma spewing fireballs. Cut out your shapes. and arrange them on your black paper any way you want. But make sure your light source makes sense. Wherever you put your sun, you have to make sure that the light side of all your planets is facing the light source and the dark side of the planets is facing away from the sun. Don't make the same mistake as the Wikipedia guy. Now, with itty bitty little baby dots of glue, glue them to your black paper or color a second paper with marker, crayon, or watercolor and glue your planets to it. Use white to add stars, rockets, satellites, and astronauts. Whatever else you might find in space. Ta-da! All right, so how did your picture turn out? I can't wait to see it. Thanks for making art with me today. Bye.